This hilarious person, Mufti Meng, was born in Africa. Could you believe it? No, right? Even I was shocked. He was raised in a respectable family, but in those 19th century, they could not even afford a proper shoes to wear. However, at the age of three, he started to learn Quran under the care of his father, who was Imam in the masjid and a sheikh. With all patience and effort, his father helped him out to memorize the Quran. Along with that, he also learned Arabic, Urdu and Fiqh. That's why during his high school, he received admission in a very popular St. John College. Years later, at the age of 16, he applied for the studies of ophthalmology in United States. Before being accepted there, he received a post from Medina University, which his father had applied two years ago. But Mufti Mank was not planning to go there. He already studied lots of deen along with his father. But as per the father's request, only for the sake to give it a try, he accepted to go to Medina University as it was also the place of Prophet He also planned as soon as he completes Quran studies, he would go back to pursue orthomology. But Allah had different plan for him. He never looked back after he completed his studies. Instead, he chose to preach millions of peoples. Surprisingly, this gentleman who was once in the time of his 20s, he had hot temper problem. So much so that no one would dare to provoke him, especially his siblings. But he believes that Allah saved him from such attitude by moving him to Medina. He understood his problem of his temper and worked on it hard until it got vanished completely. Every human being have their own faults. Some might have problem with jealousy, but some with arrogance, and so on. But success is achieved to the one who worked on it without giving up. Today, if you even try to make Mufti Menk angry, it would be very, very, very difficult. Now, Mufti Menk is 44 years old, who has already stolen millions of hearts by his lectures. He teach lectures internationally run of Islamic education institution for underprivileged as well as orphans. If you want to go far in life, learn to be well-mannered and polite towards every single person you come across. If he had never tried to work on his temper, he would have never achieved what he is today. Sometimes solving small problems in your life can be the result of your big success. So, what's your story?